Hi everyone, welcome back to Budget With Us. We just had a few moments there to pay our respects to the royal family on the passing of the Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, or did with sympathy to the family and family circle at this time. Well, today's video is about me refreshing and setting up my binders again for September. Yes, we are into the second week of September, but my budget doesn't start till the 15th of September. So I thought I would jump on here and show you the setup of my new binders. They may change over the next month or two while I'm just trying to decide if they're right or if they're not right. So you might see a few changes. Anyway, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for popping back on and watching today's video and our previous videos and future videos. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate that. And you know, we love you to be in there and joining us. If you're not a subscriber, thank you. For, uh, why don't you thank you for popping on and watching us? Why don't you pop on there and hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll be notified of any up and coming and future videos. It's all entirely free, and you know we'd love you to be here and join us. So anyway, I'm going to set up my new binders. Well, not new binders set them all up again for to see if this will help anyway so anyway so we will start off with as you see we've got quite a few here we've got my a5 and two a6 and my saffiano purse we will move these out of the way so my saffiano purse everybody else the filofax saffiano purse we will put the link below in amazon and to the filofax website um i purchased some new envelopes yes I can make them myself but I decided we do like as us as a channel we do like to support other um, budgeters and Etsy stores so as you know um, or if you didn't know we were collabing with Ira budget with Ira for the is August um, theme and we were on the back of his budget booklets so because we were that, I decided that I would like to have, so I, it's there to keep for the future and whatever, and to use them, purchased some of his envelopes in the galaxy theme, or uh, uh, to me it's a galaxy theme thing. So I decided to get, because I couldn't decide on the colours, because he had so many different colours in them, I got one of each colours. Um, or each of his designs so my ones that I got was food shop you see it's done in the brown and it has my birth sign at the back of it which is Scorpio or well, not birth sign but you know what I mean so I have got one for food I have got this nice green one which hopefully you can see um, for fuel the purple one for household the blue one for spending and it's like a black and um, blue one can't really sort of see with this light um for miscellaneous so these are going to be in my saffiano first for using each week or each day daily ones so i would call this my daily my daily binder it's something i'll be into all the time so we have miscellaneous so miscellaneous will be for sorry excuse me anything that's over and above than what i've got there may not some weeks there may be money put into it some weeks there be some money put in it until i show the budget and my budget with us and budget with me um yeah that's for miscellaneous spending household is next household i've always done household as separate from my food shop uh, so that would be like washing powder cleaning stuff toiletries and stuff so i'll be adding money into that each week uh, when i can jump to it then i have spending 
to say spending. I never used to give myself spending money and I think that's probably why the reason why I just was so top happy. So I've decided that even if it's just a fiver a week, um, it's something there for me if I want or seen something. And what I'll do is each week, if I don't use that money, I possibly might just roll it over to the next week. Because you just never know what could come up. Fuel. Um, I use Costco for that. It's a lot cheaper at the minute and has been a lot cheaper even when before the price rises. At the minute, I think unleaded is one fifty two, one fifty four, and diesel is around one sixty eight to one seventy. So yeah, I'll still put the money into here. What I'm going to try and do is, when I get paid, fill my car up, and then the access or the leftover money will go back into the envelope, uh, just in case I need to top up at any time over the month. And then at the end of the month, then we will distribute the money to wherever we're going to do that at the end. And then our food shop, which is, as everybody knows, we need food. We have to have food to live on. That will go in, the, the amount will go into that each week. So well. So that's that. Any other ones will go into that. Like if it happens to be a birthday, I'll just pop the envelope in that week. If I might buy birthday presents or whatever, gifts, etc, etc, health, whatever. But that's my weekly one, daily one set up. I'll pop that there. Move this candle out of the way. My, this one, I am going to have this as my variable one. So one that I will be going into all the time. I'm just reusing my binders that I have in the house. I don't see the point of changing one unless it rips or whatever else. So in my variable ones, I am going to have, I have emptied all my things. I'm going to have car maintenance. So I'm just going to reuse them. Yes, if it's creased, but I don't see the point of relabeling things and waste and stuff. So until they're broken or ripped, I'll be using them. So car maintenance, pets, that's for like dog food or anything else. We have got two dogs. Um, Tark is mine, Luna is Alex's. But they might as well say they're mine. They listen to me <laughs> more than her. It's funny, but yeah, we do that between us. So each month, um, like this month coming on is Alex is trying to buy the dog food and, and treats and stuff like that. So we do that between us, uh, which has worked. Um, so yeah. Side hustle is another one. So anything that I sell, the money's going to go into that. And at the end of the month, then I'll distribute that to wherever. I haven't decided where it'll go. That will probably just done at the moment. And then again, uh, a debt envelope. So any extra money will go into that. Some people will probably put that in a long term. I'm doing it as a variable at the minute. Just to see how things go. Um, and then if I feel that it needs to go to me annuals or long term or whatever, I will do that. It's just if any money goes into it, then I know I can distribute it straight away because I'll probably forget that it's in another binder. So that's just the few that I have at the moment. Um, I'm sure I've got more to think in envelopes and stuff, but at the moment that's my car maintenance and pets. Our class is variable. Um, as I say, things might change. Everybody does their binders differently. The black one, I'm going to use this at the moment for annual ones. So my annual ones will be my Christmas. So again, I got... Um, envelopes from so you'll see a different fixture of envelopes it might be a bit funny to people oh have you not got the same envelopes and whatever else i used to be like that but i like that there's no point me going out and spending money um supporting other businesses etsy stores 
if I don't use their envelopes. So um, I have this tie dyed or marble or I don't know what effect it was. It was one of Ira's ones when he, he did that. I think it must be, goodness, when was that? June, July's thing. So yeah, so I've got an envelope for Alexandra. These are my three children. One for Jordan and one for Caitlin. My three kids get a limit every year. So I will be building it up and putting money into that for them. Then I have my old Christmas one that that will be for any other members of the family. Um, I buy Christmas for. Um, we don't. We have cut right back the last five six years on who we buy now. So the only people I buy is for my two sisters and one of my nephews that I see all the time. He lives in Belfast. Uh, I have got two other nieces and nephew, uh, two other nieces and nephew, and great niece and great nephew. But even though they live in England, we don't see them. Yeah, a quick message now and again every year. They just wish them happy birthday. But we all decide up that we're not going to buy for each other as long as we send a happy birthday to each other. We're happy or happy, Merry Christmas, whatever. So yeah, so this will be for, as I say, uh, my two sisters. My nephew, my hubby, and what shall I call them is my outlaws, my mother in law and father in law. I I've always called them that. I will tell them that to their face, you're my outlaws. Uh, it's just a, a running joke we have. So yeah, that's for that. And one friend that you know I'll buy for. That's what that one's for. Then I have again separate ones for birthdays. So again for Alexandra's birthday. Her birthday's in March. Jordan's birthday was just there in August. And Caitlin's birthday is in February. So again they have a limit. They get an amount and that's what's they get for their birthday so they get an amount of money for their present and then obviously we'll get them a cake and we go for a lead so that's what will be in that so each envelope when it comes to their birthdays will be their amount of money that they're going to be getting and the money that we'll put aside also to for a cake and the meal so that for that one in that month or that envelope so say the next birthday is now because we've had Jordan's birthday in August is Caitlin's, which will be February. So her money will go in that plus the money for the meal and her cake. Then I also have for other birthdays. I'm just going to use this one again. So that will be for my two sisters, my nephew. My outlaws. We just a card and maybe box of chocolates or a bunch of flowers we don't really buy much for birthdays we decided that obviously they're retired and stuff like that and then my friend's birthday that's yeah just talk about one friend other friends i do have but we all decided over the years that we'd stop buying each other if we're available we'll go out for a drink or whatever or we'll go out for something to eat but this is one friend that i do buy for also, too, you probably think everybody will go, why are you doing that? You're on a budget. Um, while I was designing these envelopes, I did one for a holiday. So my holiday next year is for Turkey. Everybody said, no, why are you budgeting? The reason why is we work hard. We don't go out socialising a lot. We don't smoke. We're not drinkers. We'll have an occasional drink if we're out so you know we work hard all year round and if we can put a couple of pounds of that every year you know every week or whatever we're going to go on a holiday and um, also too we've booked a holiday for next year we have had holidays booked through COVID and stuff which were cancelled and then moved forward to this year and then again it was cancelled again because obviously the hotels and stuff closed down. So because we couldn't get cash, we have vouchers. Uh, we did use some of it um, in August. We took off obviously because it was all paid for so we didn't have to 
put any money to it and there was money over it which needed to be used by a certain date so we booked we got a really good deal for turkey next year so more or less half of the holidays already been paid for so it's just paying the rest off but yeah people go well, your budget and your budget and you're on a debt you know is debt not important well i feel we need to have a holiday and we've always holiday every year and we never got into debt for that. It was never put on the credit card or anything like that. It was, you know, it was always paid. Whatever. So any money, extra money, like side hustle money, that will go probably towards our holiday. So, yeah, so we've got our turkey holiday. And then also health. I'm putting this in as an annual. I don't pay for my prescriptions. I'm medically exempt. So I don't have to pay for my prescriptions dental. Um, 